I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you are new to this game, there are links in the video description below so that you can learn the fundamentals. There's also a link to this player reference. That way you can download this and follow along because I refer to the scoring. There are 81 scoring elements. There's a lot to learn, which is why I like to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. We're going to say that it is the East round. I'm going to deal with the tiles. East will get 14 tiles. Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie. Hopefully we'll be able to identify some potential scoring elements, also known as fawn. You have to have eight points to qualify to win. Sometimes that can be one fawn. Sometimes it'll be many fawn. Again, download that player reference so you can follow along. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one, also known as East. They have enough tiles. So we have five dots, two pair, three bams, singles, five cracks, there's a pair. I wonder, since we have all these pairs, if we should play all pung, all simples. Mm, let's see, all pung, all simples, voided suit. So all pung is number 49, that is six points. All simples is number 68 and that is two points. Voided suit would be one. So that would be plenty of score. Nine, nine points. We're a little short with our pairs though. We need one more to really get comfortable. We're gonna have to discard the ones, the nines, and the wins there. So we're gonna need more cracks and dots. We really, if we pair up here, we don't really need to void a suit. So let's start by discarding the ones, nines, and the west. And we'll see what happens. All pung, all simples, maybe voided suit. If we can draw dots and cracks. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as West. Five bams, singles, four dots, pair twos, Two cracks, singles, single wins, well, and dragons, honors. Those are not wins, those are dragons. Okay, so let's see here. I was just wondering if we could maybe play lesser honors and knitted tiles. That would be fawn number 34, 12 points. One four seven. Here's a, here's a four and a I mean a one and a seven. Three six nine. Two five eight. Here's a five eight. We would have to discard these twos. One four seven. Two five eight. Three six nine. And then single honors. Let's start by discarding the three crack because if we draw bams maybe we could play a half flush three six nine two five eight let's discard three crack first i, I need to keep these in order though 
just in case something else shows up, another pattern. Another thing we could consider is outside hand. Outside hand is number 55, and that is four points. We could do outside hand because we have eight, nine, one, seven, eight, nine, and dragons. That might be better. If we get the two or three, we could even do what's called a, a terminal chow, two terminal chows, number 72. That's only one point though, so we would need more score. I think either way we didn't use the three, so let's start by discarding that. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. No honors. Pair of nines with the bams. Two, three, two pair, six, seven. Oh, so much for working on chows. I suppose we could turn this into two chows. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. That's also called a pure double chow, but it's pretty low value. Pure double chow is number 69, and it's only one point. We could do all chow. All chow is two points, number 63. So that's three. We would need to come up with five more. No honors is one. That's number 76. So that would be four. We would need four more. Maybe void a suit. That would be five. Terminal Pung, no. If we're doing all chalice, we can't have a pung. Maybe all simples and sacrifice the nine. I'd rather play all, all pung and leverage these pairs. Void a suit. All pung, voided suit, no honors. That would be six for all pung. Voided suit is one, no honors is one. That's eight. Let's see what happens. Pungs. Let's see if we can work on chows for North. <laughs> that was what I was hoping to do here. Holy cow, look at that. One, two, three pair of honors. That is crazy, that is rare. That is rare to that have, have that many honors with the dealt hand. Oh my gosh, that is, that is amazing. All right, well, <laughs> we have the wind of the round here, potential, dragon pung, all pung, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we stick with one suit, that would be another, let's see, half flesh is six, that'd be 16 points. Let's see what we can get with this flower. Another flower. Whoa, oh my gosh. We're not gonna be working on chows here either. This player might be able to do chows. This player might be able to do chows, maybe. We have a lot of pairs, a lot of pairs. This player might be able to do chows. We'll see. So now we're gonna discard. Let's just see if we can do something with chows here again. Let's just look. The thing about chows is they're cheap. They're very low value, but if you do multiple patterns, you can build up to eight points. So we have two, three, one, I don't think the mixed triple chow is a strong enough pattern. Mixed triple chow is number 41, and that is eight points. One, two, three, one. Why don't we start by discarding the West? Let's just see what happens. We'll discard West, see if we can make chows work here. 
we're going to use this to mark whose turn it is. Here we're thinking about doing uh, lesser honors with and knitted tiles maybe, or half flush. There's a four bam. Okay. One, four, seven. Three, six, nine, two, five, eight. Those are the blocks of number tiles that you need. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. Let's get rid of the three crack. We'll see what happens there. We're kind of in between half flush, lesser honors, and knitted tiles. We just don't have very many single honors. So three crack was discarded. We're going to draw four crack. There's a chow. All right, let's think about this. We could sacrifice the pair of nines and do all simples. Or do all pung. I think we should do all pung, even though we have a chow in there. If we, if we, do, if we do all simples, we can leverage three tiles and sacrifice two. So if you think about it that way, that's not bad, but all simples is only two points. All simples, all pung. We only have two pair. If we turn these into chows though, if we do all simples and all chows, that would only be three. Hmm. We have to make a choice somewhere though. Two, three, four, six, seven. That's two potential chows. Let's void a suit. We have a six, six, seven, and a seven. Let's keep the seven, see what happens. If we get a six dot or an eight dot, maybe we could do mixed triple chow with five, six, seven and still use the nines. So let's discard that three dot. There are a lot of options for chows. Three dot, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Nine crack, that is a terminal which works with honors. All honors and terminals. I wonder if that is a, yep, that is a fun. Number 18, 32 points. Four pungs and a pair of ones, nines, winds and dragons. We're gonna keep that nine. Let's discard eight dot. Okay, this is very exciting. All right, now eight dot, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw here. Five crack. Okay, there's some chow potential there. I think we were considering a mixed triple chow potential. We have a potential chow here with a seven nine. There's a potential chow there and here, eight, eight, nine. We have no eight, nine potential with dots. So I don't think that's going to help. Maybe we should get rid of this one crack. Oh, wait, we are thinking one, two, three, one, two, three. Potential chow there and here's a pair. Hmm. We have to make a choice right now. Let's focus on pungs. Maybe we can do terminal pungs. A terminal pung, three of a kind of ones and nines, that's a fawn, and it is only one point though, I believe. Terminal pung, yeah, number 73, one point. So let's go ahead and discard three bam. We could still maybe do chows, we'll see. So three BAM, three BAM was discarded. Now here we have to make a choice because we do have a four five, we could chow. We could chow four five. If we draw a two BAM, well, let's see, no. If we save that for a six BAM, we could maybe do a pure straight. Pure straight, we're a little light with our first chow, one, two, three. Pure straight is number 28, and that is 
16 points. Let's wait on that three. Let's see if we can draw a two bam or a three bam. We drew a one bam. That half flush is looking pretty good. We have two pair now. Let's void a suit. Actually, let's keep the eight because we have a nine and a seven, eight, nine. Let's discard six dot. Now it's this player's turn, but this player can pung. And we have one, two, three pair of simples. Let's pung. Player on the right. Okay, we're gonna pung. And if we do all simples, all pung, that will be eight points. Let's go ahead and get rid of the one dot. Let's forget about terminal pungs for this player. All simples, all pung, eight points. We might even be able to void a suit. I think that's what we were thinking of from the beginning anyway. So one dot was discarded, we're going to draw. Two bam, oh, so pure straight looks really good. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, six potential, one, two, three potential. We still need a pair and another block in here, a chow or a pung, if we can pair up and pung. These alone could give us two points. A pung of dragons, two points. Let's discard eight crack. We're gonna focus on bams. Here, eight crack, we could chow. Six, seven, eight. We have a five, six, seven, or four, five, six, five, six, seven potential. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Let's chow. We'll see. Okay, we might be able to do mixed triple chow. That's a little bit of a risk because we're really light with dots. Let's discard two bam. So that was a six, seven, eight. We want to focus on five, six, seven, because we have a five, six and a six, seven. If we can get a five dot or a six dot, we could do mixed triple chow. So two bam was discarded. We're going to draw. Whoa, one crack. Okay, can't do much with singles. We could chow here though. We're still waiting to pung. Let's discard three bam. Oh wait, I think. Let's see here. Did I skip a turn? Let me see here. Three, chow, discard. It's this player's turn, I think. I think I messed up. Did I skip this player's turn? Oh, we discarded eight crack. This player, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think I discarded a two bam and this goes up here and it's this player's turn because this player discarded an eight crack and that player punged there Okay, so it is this player's turn. Oi, 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 I almost messed that up. Okay, here we go. So, one crack. We're gonna throw the three bam. There we go. Oh, you gotta be able to keep track of discards. Even with a marker, you can get mixed up. So let's draw. 
seven bam. We paired up a simple right there. All pong is six. We need some other pattern in here because we could do all pung and maybe a terminal pung because we're going to need another two points somewhere. We have one pung out and then one, two, three pair. We need two more points if we do all pung. All pung, all simples, I think is what we were thinking. Okay, so that would work because all simples is two points. So let's discard nine bam. Nine bam was discarded. Here, we already have a seven, eight, nine. Now, we could, we could chow, though, seven, eight, nine, and that would leave us with a one and a nine for our pair or maybe another chow. So, eventually, I think we're gonna probably have to claim discards here. There are two, three BAMs out. Let's stay concealed and draw. See if we can draw something better. Four crack. That's a bummer. Okay, now four crack. It's this player's turn. We're going to Pung. Pung. Okay, we need to pair up these simples right here. So we're going to get rid of one crack. Two crack. So we drew a four dot. We're hoping for five, six, seven. So let's discard four dot. We don't want a four, five, six. Well, we could do four, five, six, though. We have five, six, four, six, and a four. Either way, it's six, one, half dozen, the other. We do have a six, seven, eight out. Two, three, four already. Let's stick with five, six, seven, because we have a chow right there. Let's discard four dot. Three bam. We already discarded that. Third one out. If they're gonna make their pier straight, they need that last three bam. Let's draw. Green dragon. We're going for all simples, all pung. So we don't need dragons. It's green dragon, and nobody can take it. We have singles. Flower. four dot. We don't really need that. We want BAMs. And it was discarded. Let's discard four dot. Five crack. Oh, five crack. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. We have a seven, six, seven, eight right now. Maybe we should have kept that four. Because here's a potential four, five, six, four, five, six. Either way, we don't need these. We have a pair here. Maybe what we could do is get rid of the nine and go for all simples for another two points. It would lengthen their effort, though. All simples. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a short straight. Short straight is one point, number 71. If we do all simples is two, short straight is three, voided suit is four. That's not enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Mixed double chow. Mixed double chow is number 70. That's another one. So all simples is two. Short straight is three. Mixed double chow is four. Voided suit is five. We're three short. We need mixed triple chow. 
we need mixed triple chow. We have five, six, five, six, seven, and a seven. We need to get rid of these. Either way, we need to get rid of tiles. Let's get two more points and get rid of the nine bam. We're going to get rid of that and stick with simples for an extra two points. We all have a longer way to go, but we'll get more score. So let's see what happens. Nine bam was thrown. Let's draw. Five bam. We don't need that. Six bam. We're doing simple, so let's keep it and discard nine crack. Nobody can take nine crack, so we'll draw. Four bam. It's almost looking like we can do a full flush. Full flush is number 22, 24 points. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Eight dot. Oh, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, seven, six, seven, eight. That's not right. That won't work. We need five and six. Eight dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. We just got through the second wall, though, so I want to show you the discards. Eight crack. At least we have a half flush going here. Four, four, okay, eight bam. All right, we could chow, chow, pong. Let's draw. Four bam. That is a simple. We do have a four, pong of four cracks out. Let's see. None of these are out. Eight crack is out in a, no, yeah, eight, eight crack is out in a chow. Let's discard that. We'll draw here. We need a three bam. Four dot. White dragon. We want simples. Let's get rid of nine bam. We'll get rid of this next. We really need a five dot or a six dot, and we need to chow. Three dot. Oh, we paired up. There is a scoring element called double pung. Double pung is number 65, and that's two points. Let's discard five crack. All simples, all pung, double pung. That's pretty nice and not too lengthy. We're going into the middle game. Okay, so five crack was thrown. Nobody can take it. One crack. We badly need the three bam. There's only one left. I think we should maybe go for full flush. We could pung, pung, chow, chow. We'll see. Let's draw. Two crack. We paired up. We got a pair. Got to have a pair. Let's discard white. White dragon. Nobody can take it. Single, single. Let's draw. <gasps> East. Woo. Pung. Keep it concealed. If you draw it, you don't have to reveal it. So we have Pung here. Potential Pung. Potential Pung. One, two, three. Two potential Chows. White Dragon was thrown. So was a Green Dragon. Let's get rid of the White Dragon. Actually, you know what? The West was thrown. Let's get rid of the West. Either way, if we use these cracks, we won't need all these dragons, except the red one. Let's draw. Flower. Flower. Nine dot. We want simples. 
seven dot. We want BAMs. We got the five. Okay, five, six, seven, potential pair discards. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven. We have a chow out, six, seven, eight. So that would be mixed triple chow, all chow, no honors. Plenty of score. We need to chow here with a four. Let's see, five, six, seven. We need a seven bam, six dot, not a four bam. Okay, I was thinking four, five, six. Let's get rid of the three, bam, uh, three crack. Okay, so we were able to work on chows. Very nice. Let's draw. Three crack. Let's chow. This actually is a scoring element called outside hand. We have a one, two, three, all honors, and here's a terminal chow here. And one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, that's two terminal chows. That is another scoring element. So outside hand is number 55, four points, two terminal chows. is number 72, one point. We're not doing all honors and terminals though, because we have terminal chows, but we do have a half flesh, which is six points. And then we have wind of the round and then potential dragon pung. So let's get rid of white dragon. Eight crack. flower. Three dot. You know what? The white dragon was discarded. Let's discard that. Three crack. We don't need it. We just discarded that. We need a seven bam and a six dot. Red dragon. That's a keeper. We have two concealed pungs. That's another scoring element. Two concealed pungs is number 66, and that's two points. Let's discard green dragon. And they are ready to win on a seven crack. Drawing five crack. One bam. We have a terminal pung. That's a point. Green dragon was discarded. Let's throw that. I think we should have them play full flesh. Maybe we could chow here and here. Oh, maybe I should have kept that green dragon for a potential pair. All right, that's all right. We still have a chance to get more bams. I probably should have kept that green dragon and discarded these. So let's draw. Eight bam. No, we want five, six, seven. Let's see, we have a six, seven, eight out. We don't have enough sevens. We need a seven here already. Let's just keep that for an option and discard the four crack. If we get six, seven, eight, either way we need a seven though. We'll see what comes in. Let's draw. Five dot. Five crack. There's a bam. That's what I was hoping for. You can recover from a mistake. Let's discard three dot. We have a pung here. We could maybe pung here and here, be ready on a two. Since there are three, three bams out, we may never get that for a chow. Three dot, red dragon. 
Let's discard Red Dragon. Here, let's Kong. Maybe we'll get our winning tile through a replacement. That's a scoring element. Number 46 is out on replacement, eight points. So let's Kong. Uh, so that would be the player on our right, just like that. Okay, let's see if we can get a seven crack. No, we got a West. Oh, there is a scoring element called three little wins, I think, or little three wins. Let's see. No, there's little four wins, big three wins, pungs of three wins, plus any set and a pair. We threw away the West. That's all right. This will be plenty big if we can get it. Let's draw West. Oh, South. Okay, that could help if we end up playing a half flush. We could use that for a pair. Two dot. The thing about that is half flush is six. Terminal Pung is seven. We would need more value. Maybe ter two Terminal Chows. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. We have work to do. I think a full flush is better. We threw a two dot down here. We'll Pung. Pung. Discard six BAM, ready to win, double weight, either a four BAM or a seven BAM. Six BAM, we could chow, four, five, six. Let's chow because we're still left with a potential chow. Let's chow. If you break a chow to make a chow, make sure you're left with tiles for another chow or a potential pong even. So we discarded, or we did a four, five, six chow. So let's discard two dot. North. Eight dot. Nine crack. We need BAMs. We got one. Ooh, four, five, six, pure double chow. Okay, we're gonna discard South. They're ready to win on a two BAM or a three BAM and they'll even have a pure straight. Let's see if we can get that last three BAM. We can use this as the pair. Let's draw two BAM, two BAM. We're going to Mahjong on a full flesh. Mahjong player on the right, or let's see this player, player on the right. Okay. Single weight. These are all concealed. And then here we have a chow and two flowers. Okay, Mahjong right here. And we did work on chows here, here. These were pungs. There's a little bit of a chow in there. Okay, for this player, we have full flush, 24 points, terminal, Punk. Oh, we got to go in order. Okay. For this player, we have a full flush. That's number 22, 24 points. Next, we have four, five, six, pure double chow. That is one point, number 69. So that's 25. We have a terminal pung, that's 26. Terminal Pung is number 73, that's one point.
So full flush is 24, 25 for the pure double chow, 26 for the terminal pung, 27 for a single, a single weight. That's number 79. Oh, you know what? Wait, waiting solely for a tile to form a pair, not valid if waiting for more than one tile. We could also have one with a one, two, three though. So that's a little more complex. So I don't think we qualify. So we can't qualify for a single weight because we could also have one with a one, two, three and use this as a pair. So we have flexibility there. So no single weight. So we have full flush 24, pure double chow 25, terminal pung 26, flowers 27, 28, 28 points. So 28 points from these two players. And then this player plays the 28 plus eight. So from this player, we'll get 36. That was really exciting actually every one of those players had a really exciting hand east was playing all pung all simples ready to win on a double weight west was playing all simples also mixed triple chow they weren't quite ready yet they were one away i think and then two away maybe two away from ready and then north was playing half flush two terminal chows, Dragon Kong, and Wind of the Round. Plus they had two concealed Pungs. That would have been a really nice hand. They were ready to win on a seven crack. So we ended up in the middle game. So it was a bit lengthy. Sometimes these hands go really fast, especially if people are playing chows. But we had Pungs going on here and that typically will stretch the game a bit. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.